pen friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin. Now normally I would see you guys on Thursday evenings, but I have a little bonus upload for you guys this week. In my previous video, which was my June plan with me, I shared some exciting news and that is I'm opening an online shop. It still feels a little surreal to say it out loud, but I'm excited, nervous, and anxious. I'm feeling so many different things right now but definitely excited is at the top of that list. In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about why I decided to do this, how I'm gonna do it, and what is going to be listed on my shop. First, let's start off with why. I have felt my whole life that I've wanted to be creative. As a little girl, I wanted to be an artist amongst other things, but I didn't have the natural talent for it. and. I very much had a fixed mindset growing up and even just recently in the past couple years it's something that I've been trying to address. These things that I think I'm not good at may be true in the moment but it's something that I have control over and it's something that I can work on. I've always really enjoyed doodling and I think that's why I've taken such a liking to the bullet journal system because it's allowed me to incorporate small doodles here and there, nothing too intimidating for someone like me who doesn't come from a super artsy background. But again, I've always had this angst and this yearning to be creative. For those of you who may not know, I actually have a background in dance, so I just really enjoy the arts. Anything that allows me to get into a creative space, it's something that I really appreciate. Coming back to what I'm doing now, I've just found that YouTube has given me the space, a very safe space, and you guys have allowed me to share a lot of what I have always really enjoyed and to be able to connect on it and become friends over it. So I'm so appreciative of that. And in order to challenge myself, in order to prove to myself that I have the courage to be creative and hopefully eventually inspire others to do the same, I've decided that opening an online shop would be the next best step in that direction. And the fact that it makes me nervous and excited, it gives me butterflies, I just know in my gut that this is something that I need to do. I need to try. I need to give myself a chance because if I don't, I think I will... I think if I don't, I don't know why I'm getting emotional. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's been a crazy couple days. Um, I just know that life is really short and if I don't give myself a chance to try, I'm always gonna be wondering what if, and if not now, when, you know? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. It's not sad. Um, <laughs> this news is not sad, I don't know why I'm crying. Sorry guys, my intention was not to make you feel uncomfortable. I, I just, that's how I feel right now. And I think with the stay at home orders and everything that has transpired, it's just put into perspective for me that I can't wait for everything to be perfect. I can't wait for the right, right moment to take a chance on myself and I have I have to believe in myself because if I don't believe in myself then who's gonna believe in me so that's why I'm doing this and it, it may seem like you know okay you're opening up an online shop like big deal and like I totally get you know there's people who are taking larger risks and everything like that but the comparison I have, I have to stop comparing myself to other people. I have to focus on what's going to bring me joy and what's going to bring me fulfillment. And now I feel like I'm going off on a tangent, but I, I hope that by, by doing this, wherever it may go, that I get something out of it. And that something I hope is fulfillment. That's all I want. And it, even if it's not this, then I know that I could take that information and pivot and try something else. You know, 
I am very much aware that this could be a total flop, that I could launch my shop and that it could fail. And that is a very scary thought, but it's just information at the end of the day. And that's something that my husband <sighs> reminded me yesterday is that despite what happens, like the outcome is just information. So Wow, okay. I feel like I've gone off on like such a huge tangent, but if you're still watching, I just want to say thank you for, again, giving me the space to be able to be myself and to share that with you guys because I don't, I, I don't think I've said any of that out loud before. I've written it down, I've journaled it, but oh, I'm getting emotional again. Anyways, so that's why I'm opening up an online shop and hopefully, you know, I can provide some value to you guys. I guess that pretty much covers the why I'm doing this and how I'm, you know, going about it. The online shop is the path that I'm taking and my intention is to push for creative fulfillment and to challenge myself and be able to share and provide value to you guys because you have given me so much, much more than you guys probably realize. Your friendships mean the world to me, the connections that we make here just through the comment section and everything mean so much. By the time you're watching this video, my shop will have officially launched. I didn't like give myself a whole lot of time to promote and everything. I kind of just mentioned it in Thursday's video and here I am on Monday sharing it again with you guys. So if you want to head on over to the shop, I'll have a link in the description box below. The reason why the turnover for all of this seems so quick is because I knew that like I couldn't just put it off anymore. It was something that I knew that I needed to do while I still had the like gall to do it before I could really talk myself out of it. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a while now and I just, again, things have happened. So it's put into perspective for me that I just need to start where I am, start right now, start messy. It won't be like the perfect shop launch that I want it to be, but the fact that it's up and it's running and I'm putting my work out there, that's what matters. As part of this soft launch, I've created two printables that I'm really, really proud of. One of those printables you may have seen in my previous video. It was my June plan with me. You can go ahead and watch that video if you wanna take a closer look at the different designs. This printable was inspired by my trip to the Philippines with my family last year, and there were so many good memories, and I just kinda wanted to be able to commemorate that in a special way. And when I was thinking about how I wanted to set up my bullet journal for June, all those things just came together and I'm really, really happy again with how it turned out. I have a sample printed out right here. I did switch out one of the designs. So in my plan with me video, I made a little helmet illustration to represent Kawasan Falls and canyoneering, but I know that was very specific to me and not everyone may have that experience So I replaced it with a little mango and I feel like if you're in the Philippines You're more than likely gonna have a delicious sweet mango and I really like how it turned out I think it's so cute. So there are some illustrations on this printable as well as little washi tapes that you can cut out. So you can print this out on regular paper, cut it out and paste it into your journal like I did in my plan with me video, or you can print it out on sticker paper and cut it out that way and just stick it. And that's a little bit easier. Unfortunately, I ordered some sticker paper that I wanted to demo for you guys, but it won't come in until the time that you're watching this video and I needed to get this video ready to share but in any case that is the Philippines dreams printable 
This is another printable journal kit that I've created. And this is great for if you have a planner and you like to decorate it, or if you have a bullet journal, this could set you up really easily for that. There are a couple of different things on this journal kit. There are some days of the week, some habit trackers, a few washi tapes, and then just some other fun things to help make your journal slash planner more functional, but also, for a lack of a better word, cute. This will be the other printable that's part of my soft launch. So the Philippines Dreams one, and then the regular printable journal kit. If it's something that you think that you would like to use in your planner or journal, again, look in the description box below for the link to my shop. And let me know which printable is your favorite in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. And again, thank you for being amazing pen friends. I feel incredibly blessed. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a pen friend who you think might also enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and to turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I do my best to upload here every Thursday evening, so I'll see you guys again on Thursday, but please take care until then. Feel free to enjoy these two videos linked here on the screen. Again, I can't say it enough. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.